Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk to you about SharePoint Designer 2013. First, I have to give you a little caveat. There's not going to be a SharePoint Designer 2016. And if you install Office 2016 on a machine which has SharePoint Designer 2013, you'll lose it. It will be removed. So that's uh, something to consider. But I do want to show you what you can do with SharePoint Designer. And you can save a few clicks and maybe a few seconds of your valuable time also by using SharePoint Designer instead of doing everything through the web UI. So SharePoint Designer has this UI with the site objects and this, this summary screen where you have all the settings for that object uh, that you're currently selecting. So it has some of the shortcuts that you often use and here's one thing that you, you know, rather useful to see the, how much space is used in this site collection. Anyhow, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a new SharePoint list and uh, it's going to be a, a contact list. I'm going to call that consultants and then you can type the description and as you see that's very quick to do and you get some of the more popular options here. So allow attachments, I don't want to allow those. Yeah, I do want to um, create a new version each time you edit an item. Allow management of content type. Yes, I want to do that. I don't want the folders to be visible there, so I'm going to remove those. And then I can also edit the column and display this uh, on a quick launch, so it's also useful. I can edit the columns. As you see, uh, when I have a star here, that means that it's not saved to a SharePoint. So these are all consultants. I don't really care what company they come from. Uh, I do care what um, uh, department they're working in though. So I'm going to um, add the Composo department uh, manage metadata field to that. And I'm also going to add an existing site column for photo. Contact photo, that's excellent. I don't care about the home phone number. I don't have a web page for these people and the country region. Yeah, I can keep that note. So I think we're rather good to go there. As you see, working in SharePoint Designer is uh, rather quick and you can just save your updates and you don't have to jump through different, in different screens. Also, I want to show you this button here, show in a um, web browser. And of course, you can do that if you are actually in a list. So let's go here into the list there, preview and browser. And that's a rather useful thing to do. And uh, the one I use the most is pressing the F12 key on the keyboard and just jumping straight into that list. So very, very useful. So uh, that's a quick demo on how to create a list in SharePoint Designer and some tips and tricks there. Thank you for watching.